Three people died and dozens were injured when a tornado hit New Orleans and other parts of the U.S. state of Louisiana. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards said at least 21 tornadoes had hit from north to south including New Orleans since Wednesday, December 14, 2022, and caused considerable damage. This big storm also caused some areas to be covered with snow up to about 2 meters and resulted in the closure of roads and schools as well as shops. The United States National Weather Service has issued a warning for a winter storm to occur. Residents from West Virginia to Vermont are asked to be vigilant and careful with the possibility of falling snow, ice and hail with high intensity. The tornado that passed through the parishes of Jefferson, Orleans and St. Bernard on December 14 followed a path similar to that which wreaked havoc in March, two tornadoes intersected on a riverbank in Arabi, forcing residents in the area to face redevelopment for the second time in nine months. In addition to their crossing, the tornado's path affected the different parts of the three parishes they traversed. The March tornado path passed through Terrytown, Algiers, Arabi, and New Orleans East. The December tornado passed through Marrero, Gretna, Algeria, and Arabi. Louisiana experienced multiple tornadoes on December 14, and hundreds of homes and businesses were damaged or destroyed. One person died in Kelowna, and two others in northern Louisiana also died from the storm. Wednesday's bad weather was worse than Hurricane Ida, Mayor Gretna Belinda Constant told CNN affiliate WDSU. Hurricanes hit the area last year a 56-year-old woman died after a tornado destroyed her home in Kelowna. About 30 miles west of New Orleans, according to a tweet from the Louisiana Department of Health. The woman's identity was not immediately released, officials at Street. Charles Wednesday, there is a piece of debris on the embankment behind you that came from our firing range one, seven miles away he said, adding this was the second time in two weeks a tornado had made landfall at St. Charles Parish this one created quite a bit of devastation, more than 300 miles to the north. A boy and his mother were found dead after a tornado destroyed their home Tuesday in the northwestern Louisiana community of Keithville, the Caddo Parish Sheriff's Office said. The boy's body was found Tuesday about half a mile from the house Sheriff Steve Praetor told CNN affiliate KSLA. Small Farmerville Union Parish in northern Louisiana, near the Arkansas border, said Farmerville Police Detective Cade Nolan. Throughout the rest of the state, rubble where homes once stood and overturned cars were seen in devastated communities where many residents told CNN they hiding in the bathtub in fear as they ride out the storm. The hurricane system cut power to more than 45,000 customers in Louisiana and more than 9,000 this dangerous storm is still with us. Be aware of the weather and heed the warnings of your local officials. Louisiana Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser told CNN's Anderson Cooper that the state was lucky last hurricane season, but this hurricane is not saving us anything. And it touches every part of the state, severe weather wreaked havoc across Louisiana and the move across the southeast is part of a larger system that has also delivered heavy snow and in some places blizzard conditions across the north-central U.S. Wednesday's threat comes after a hurricane on Tuesday spawned tornadoes and destroyed homes and businesses from Oklahoma and the Dallas-Fort Worth area to Mississippi and parts of Louisiana. That's crossed the river. On the west bank. That's the west side. That's the water.